What's up guys, my name is Holy Hand Grenade, and on my other channel I've been getting a lot of questions on how to get the Panda Marine emblem in specific, so this is a video on how to get that and the Tiger Marine icon or portrait for StarCraft 2. Okay, so for those of you who don't know how to get to the achievements, basically what you do is you click that shield right there, boom, and then you're going to get all these different categories. What you're going to want to do is click the exploration one and then you will see the guide one guide two guide three and challenges i believe basically in guide one the three challenges you need to get the tiger marine are win three custom ai games as any race it doesn't matter and then what you're going to want to do is grab a friend and just play i think three or two cooperative games and just roll the ai that's pretty much all you have to do and then you will unlock your tiger like i said it's a pretty pretty fairly easy achievement to get but the harder one to get is the panda the panda achievements are in guide 2 and what you'll need for the panda is to win three games with each race against custom AI then to play enough uh, quick matches I think to place in the league quick match and the last one is to get six stars in any combination of challenges so you just need six in total alright so at this point you should be out of the achievement list and go to single player and once the single player, you see the box, there's two boxes to the right, you're going to want to click the bottom one, play challenges. And I will show you what the challenges look like in just a second. Alright, when you click on play challenges, you're going to see the nine challenges that StarCraft 2 has. The first three are pretty easy, except I failed because I suck at StarCraft, or I did. And then you're going to see the next two, which gets progressively harder, and then the last three, which I haven't even tried to play yet. But basically, all you have to do is get one star on the first three, and then the next three after that for the panda, and you're set for those two achievements. For the next part of the achievement, you're going to want to go to multiplayer. This is after you've finished your challenges and you are completely done with the single player tab. Once you're in the multiplayer tab, you can see that there are again two boxes on the right. The top one is for cooperative, and that's where you're going to go with your friend, and you can set the AI to very easy and, or anything you want, and you just win three games there, and you're good on that achievement as well. Directly below it is the thing that confuses the people the most about this achievement. Um, most people assume that the single player tab thing where it says play custom game is what you need for the achievement, and that's where a lot of people get confused with and start to give up on the achievement, I would say. Um, but no, you need to be in the multiplayer tab and create custom game there, which is the bottom right hand box right there. And it's the the lower one, you don't want to join game, you want to create game. You can set the AI to very easy, which is, as you would assume, very easy to win. And then you're going to want to go in and win three games with each of the three races that you can choose from. Earlier on my other channel, I posted a video of me winning a very easy game against AI in five minutes but I can do it a lot quicker than that and a lot of people didn't think that it was possible anymore but I will show you how to do it in more detail right now alright so I'm gonna go create a game select a 2v2 map and then once I do it there we go okay you can see I'm gonna hit add AI I'm gonna switch it to very easy and you can see all the settings I have if you have any questions there we go N nothing's changed besides very easy and create game and there we go right now I'm using the footage from my uh, original video about this topic but um, I think it still pertains to it because this is one of my best videos of it but I'll explain it a little bit better than I did in the other video basically what you're gonna wanna do is immediately immediately get your guys to start going every single one of your probes to start going to the enemy base and you should know where their spawn is by looking at the picture in the loading screen um, you're also going to want to start making another probe and set its waypoint down at their base. And there you can see one's coming in right now. I failed kind of hard because I just sent him right in the middle of all their SCVs and so he started taking some damage. But then you're going to want to group them up and basically kite back and forth between different SCVs and focus fire. I'm not, I'm not jumping around between them all, which can pretty much lead to a very, very early death, which you don't want, because then all your, all your probes are scattered around and all that stuff, and so they're just going to get focus fired. So you want to bunch your, your uh, probes up and focus fire them down. And if you do start getting chased, you want to drag them back out towards the gray area, then come back in and focus fire again. And then once, once 
there's only one or two left, you can just start focusing on the command center because they shouldn't bug you. If they do, just just kill it as fast as possible and just immediately get back on the command center. And as you can see, it works and bam, I have a win very, very quickly. And once you've mastered this or get used to it, all you're going to want to do is rinse and repeat until you have three wins with each of the races. And the last part for the panda should be to just go into quick match and either choose 1v1 or 2, 3, 4, whatever you want. And play enough games, which should be five, to, to enter into one of the leagues, whether that be bronze, silver, any of those. And once you get that done, you should have your tiger and panda. And to access them, you just click your little picture, go to rewards, and there you go. There's the tiger right there. Okay. And then there is the panda in all its panda glory. All right, thanks for watching this video, guys. Um, if you have any questions, just post it in the comments, and I'll try and answer as many as I can. Um, what you see in here is another video that I'm about to post up, but don't forget to subscribe and rate my videos because I'm going to post up many more StarCraft 2 videos um, with commentaries, level playthroughs, and just Easter eggs and secrets. Once again, I'm Holy Hand Grenade, and thanks for watching.